Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you have a vehicle made by General Motors such as guys Chevy, Buick, GMC or Cadillac guys and your horn on the steering wheel doesn't work, stay with us guys and we'll explain what can cause your horn not to work guys. We're going to cover everything from start to finish. Uh, probably we're going to say guys the top four reasons, uh, top four reasons for that guys maybe five even i can think of why the horn may not work on your gm vehicle now quick introduction we have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop this is guys because our mission is to save you as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video for all the work with you guys if you have any questions leave a comment below we'll try to make a video for your problem uh, if you guys need to buy any tools parts anything like that we'll have the link in the description of the video below for your convenience so please guys check it out now i'm going to go inside the vehicle and i'll show you guys how the horn on that 2015 chevy cruise guys doesn't work like at all no matter what you do that horn doesn't work so i'll turn even the ignition on and listen now nothing all right okay you're about to be in an accident you want to avoid an accident you want to press your horn so somebody hears you nothing happens that's very dangerous guys so we're going to explain what can cause that now so i'll go ahead turn the ignition off and we're going to get outside now most of the gm vehicles guys you have two fuse boxes at least okay and one will be by the steering wheel somewhere right here it could be on the side you might have a cover like this one here and you have a fuse box guys guys down there you can see now our horn fuse is not there you think it is because it's for the body but it's not most of the times it will be guys okay the one under the hood okay like this one here but check both of them you never know and we did some reading and we found out that fuse 51 guys okay is for the horn right there but what else could go wrong guys okay one thing it could be a bad fuse it could be guys a bad horn it could be bad connection Okay, it could be better wiring somewhere. Uh, and that includes the switch too, number four, bad horn switch, because there is a switch, guys, that's activated when you press your horn. And if that switch is not working or the wire is loose, it will not work as well. Now, last reason, guys, will be your quark spring. This is the round device that transfers the signal from the wires on the steering wheel to the steering column. And sometimes they do fail and, and uh, you may notice your horn not working sometimes if they fail completely your steering wheel buttons will not work as well that means you need a we need a squawk spring another thing guys okay if you want to see how to test the horn and where usually it's located it's behind the phone bumper check out the video guys we have a video on the channel that explains how to test the horn which is very simple not complicated at all and you can find out yourself if yours is good or not but first thing guys always check your fuse most of the times you have a fuse and in some cases you may have even a relay guys but i haven't seen one very often most of the times it's just a fuse so we have fuse 51 i'm going to go ahead pull that fuse and uh let me just grab a new one quick replace it with a new one and see if that will uh, that will take care of the problem now okay let me go ahead and grab one quick okay fuse number 51 let's get a new fuse if you need to buy any fuses or anything like that link will be in the description of the video below let me put my fuse power guys here so i don't lose it and things to check guys fuse check uh, the horn test the horn test uh, make sure that the wiring harness is plugged in test your switch here and if that's not the case it may be a bad quark spring and we have a video on the channel that explains how to know if a quark spring is bad so we'll go ahead turn the ignition on and listen now So it works perfectly fine. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.